If Speaker Johnson will bring other bills to a vote, including one to create a national anti-Semitism coordinator position in the White House. speak a few moments about what's going on on our college campuses here. We've all seen the images, and they put to the test two fundamental American principles. Excuse me. <clears throat> the first is the right to free speech and for people to peacefully assemble and make their voices heard. The second is the rule of law. Both must be upheld. We are not an authoritarian nation where we silence people or squash dissent. The American people are heard. In fact, peaceful protest is in the best tradition of how Americans respond to consequential issues. But, but, neither are we a lawless country. <clears throat> we are a civil society, and order must prevail. Throughout our history, we've often faced moments like this because we are a big, diverse, free-thinking and freedom-loving nation. In moments like this, there are always those who rush in to score political points. But this isn't a moment for politics. It's a moment for clarity. So let me be clear. Peaceful protest in America. Violent protest is not protected. Peaceful protest is. It's against the law when violence occurs. Destroying property is not a peaceful protest. It's against the law. Vandalism trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses, forcing the cancellation of classes and graduations. None of this is a peaceful protest. Threatening people, intimidating people, instilling fear in people is not a peaceful protest. It's against the law. Dissent is essential to democracy, but dissent must never lead to disorder or to denying the rights of others so students can finish the semester and their college education. Look, it's basically a matter of fairness. It's a matter of what's right. There's the right to protest, but not the right to cause chaos. People have the right to get an education, the right to get a degree, the right to walk across the campus safely without fear of being attacked. But let's be clear about this as well. There should be no place on any campus, no place in America, for anti-Semitism or threats of violence against Jewish students. There is no place for hate speech or violence of any kind, whether it's anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, or discrimination against Arab Americans or Palestinian Americans. It's simply wrong. There's no place for racism in America. It's all wrong. It's un-American. I understand people have strong feelings and deep convictions. In America, we respect the right and protect the right for them to express that. But it doesn't mean anything goes. It needs to be done without violence, without destruction, without hate, and within the law. You know, make no mistake, as president, I will always defend free speech, and I will always be just as strong in standing up for the rule of law. That's my responsibility to you, the American people, and my obligation to the Constitution. Thank you very much. Mr. President, have the protest forced you to reconsider any of the policies with regard to the region? No. Thank you. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy Shalom to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. What in the world? Oh, Salakia. Just got a couple weird ass messages. In truth and sincerity, man. All right. Hey, look, uh, I'm, I'm going to lay him back on, uh, you know, the epistle, a beautiful, and he was spot on with it, too. Epistle that uh, the elder, but not the Zakbar from South Carolina did last night. Right. Matter of fact, I'm watching them right now. All right. He got a nice looking garment on. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, Salakia. No, nah, but, uh, you know, he and he was going into it when we when we read in the Bible and when we, you know, breaking these things down, we go according to the prophecies. All right. And that's what the scripture said to do. Stay occupied in prophecies. We look at it, you know, in, in, a, in a prophetic way, simply because that's the way you're supposed to look at it. We're supposed to uh, Sirach 39 of verse one. Right. We're supposed to stay occupied in prophecies. Now, if you if you read in the Bible and you're saying, you know, and, and you, you read it like a novel or you uh, or you, you're not really understanding or you believe the ways of this world and these people are that people and those people are that people according to what they say and. Not what they do. 
you know, or, or you know what they say and what they do or whatever, blah, blah, blah. OK, then you're not really going according to the prophecies because the prophecies, they fix everything and they and they prove everything. And each and every one of them are coming true right in front of everybody's eyes, man. You know, and I believe the elder, uh, you know, he was going into uh, that new anti-Semitic thing that, you know, they got pushed out there. Now, the now the word, you know, the, our Bible didn't say nothing about the, all the nations are going to come together and pass bills saying you can't say nothing against the Israelites. No, no, no. The scripture said thou shalt be oppressed and spoiled. Thou shalt become a proverb and a byword amongst all these nations, man. You see? Uh, uh, they're not going to speak well of you. They're going to try to get you, uh, uh, kick you off the streets. They're going, they're going to do this. They're going to uh, put you down low. You know, they're going to, uh, you know, they're going, they're going to treat you less than nothing. And that's what the scriptures say. Uh, not, you know, uphold and uh, have a, uh, uh, you know, the king of Babylon uh, passing bills and no, nowhere in the scripture is say nothing like that, man. It's Isaiah 29, verse 19. It just did not say it. Matter of fact, here, since he went into it, I'll go ahead. I'll go into it. In Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32. Let's see. Slokia. Come on now. Deuteronomy. Come on. Deuteronomy 28th chapter. Damn. Took me a while to get there. Slokia for that. All right. 28th chapter and verse 36. Come on now, let's go. All right. Well, verse 35. The Lord Yahweh shall smite thee in the knee and in the legs and with a sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole of thy feet, even unto the top of thy head, man. All right. And, and you know, also with madness and all kinds of different things. I went into that the other day, laying back and off of the brother Yahakarab, right? All right. The blue hair and all, blonde hair and all that crazy garbage. Smite thee with madness. In blindness, okay? Verse, and you don't see the, the other nations doing that. All right? You know, I mean, you look no further than the curses. They don't fit none of these damn curses. The scriptures didn't say that, the, uh, that, Bab that Babylon's going to be in league with Israel. It didn't say that. Verse 36. The Lord Yahweh shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, right? All that voting. You know, and Israelites are, are, are you know, two thirds, especially the old folks, man. You got to go out and vote, rock the vote, rock the vote. All right. It's, it's madness. There's there's more madness. You should not set a king over you. What? As the scripture said, unless he is your brother. And Joe Biden damn sure and our brother ain't never one of them presidents. Our brother. Not at all. See, not even Barack Obama. And he's it was, what? Uh, contrary to popular uh, demand, he, that dude was a freaking Hamite, man. Two different nations. Simple simple and plain. All right? And if you don't believe me, look it up. Ham and Israel is two different nations. The Lord, Yahweh, shall bring thee and thy king which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou thy fathers have known, and there thou shalt serve thy other gods, wood and stone, right? Wood and you shall what? Serve other gods. All right. Verse 37. And thou shalt become and what an astonishment, a proverb and a byword amongst all nations. Rather, the Lord Yahweh shall lead thee. Right. All right. So this is going into them. J.E.U.U.U.S. I say, I say it like that. You know, we got to be careful about what we say. Why? See this yet again. We say this all the time and we do because they'll, they'll strike us down. You already know what it is. OK. But just us saying that alone right there should let you know and give you some kind of a, a inkling or a, you know, example, you know, that we are the people. Because, hey, man, look, because we, we, we can't say certain words. But these people, you know, the J-E-U-U-U's, right, the 1948ers, are bombing the cities, owning banks. You see, do you understand what I'm saying? The scripture said, thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled forevermore. See that? And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword amongst all nations. Rather, the Lord Yahweh shall lead thee. See that? Where you were scattered. You know, you can, we can go to uh, Isaiah 14th chapter, where, where it talks about uh, we shall rule over our oppressors. And they were all wrapped up and involved in that. Okay? Even, uh, even uh, before the... Uh, chattel slavery, if you will, 
Oh, they're all wrapped up in it, man. Tells you that in Psalms 83rd chapter. All right? And see, he also went into uh, it was Revelation 12 and verse 7. And, and you know what? That was, that was spot on right there. That was a good, that was a good lesson. All right? Let's go here. Because the famine of the word is coming. You know, I was going to play. I don't know. I might I might just stick it stick it in there. The uh, the intro that the elder had played where you know they were talking about the anti-Semitic bill. And then you got a, a bill C was it C367? All right? And then, and then you got uh was it in Utah they're trying to ban the Bible? The famine of the word is coming. It's simple and plain. It's coming. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh said, he's going to send the famine of the word. That's why it's very important to seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Time is short. All right. And this is not a joke. It's not for entertainment. It's not it's, it's not for entertainment. It's not a joke. W why do you think? Why do you think all these brothers, you know, and the elders and apostles are out doing what they do, making their bodies a living sacrifice? You think it's just for nothing? You think we do this for fun? You know, although I must say, you know, it's uh, it's it, it isn't like uh, it's an easy walker. It's, it's easy to do. You know, to go out there and, 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 and prophesy and all that. It's not easy, but it's not grievous either. The scripture go into it and tell you that. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and go there. Yeah, my commandments are not grievous. Let's go there. All right. Before I get into the, you know, the, the, the main fatness of the scriptures that I got pulled up. First John five and verse three. For this is love. Right. See, it's a love thing. And, and and all and all this anti you know whatever is under the banner of what H A T E man see again we got to be careful about what we say you understand and that that should let you know and tell you the hypocrisy of these damn people of Amalek and Esau Edom in general the hypocrisy of these people man they tell you this and you know what I'm gonna say it screw it I don't give a damn hate is a, a, a is a natural emotion you know El Yashawamba brought that out man. It's a natural emotion. I mean, anybody should know that anyway. Okay? It's an emotion that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has. He said, hate the evil and love the good, right? He said, I, 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 I have loved Jacob and I hated Esau. And that wasn't in the past tense. He always hated them. You know, he created he created them uh, to be a them. Uh, it was, it's, uh, it's in Romans 9 and verse 22, right? Vessels were wrath fitted to destruction. He created them to... For, to be the hammer of the earth to punish his children, the Israelites. First John five verse three. For this is love of the Most High Yahweh that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. You see that grievous? Let's look that word up. Grievous. It's lucky. Yeah, that's right. I agree. Yeah, you worry about what you're doing. Damn it. Yeah, you, they teaching and where they teaching at you, the camps, you know, all these damn people coming up against the camps. Well, where'd you learn any of this from anyway? You know, hey, honestly, it, uh, you know, from the apostles and the bishops and the elders all the way on down, you know, to men like me. You know, where, the, where the hell you think you heard that from? See, and we, and we f f force these uh, so-called Christians to start studying and shit. Grievous. Let's get the definition of grievous. This shit ain't hard. Salakia, man, you know, Salakia, you know, for all the language, but it, it, it is what it is. This is meant to be edifying. That's what it's all about. Of something bad, right? Very severe or serious, right? His commandments are not grievous. It's, it's nothing bad. It's, it's not hard. See, it's not hard, man. It just is. It isn't. Isaiah 29, verse 19. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord Yahweh. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. And that's how, you know, that's what we're doing. We're rejoicing in, under, in the understanding of this word, man. It's that You got to rejoice because it's, it's the greatest gift ever given to anybody, period, point blank. But we go into this anti, uh, you know, Shem. <laughs> I don't know who the hell Shem is, Bill. We're gonna, we'll are gonna we go into it just a little bit and you'll filter it through the scriptures. You know, and I think I will go ahead and play, you know, the elder, his intro. I played the whole damn thing. Verse 20. All right. For the te for the terrible one is brought to naught and the scorner is consumed. You see, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off in that aid. Again, that's going into the two thirds, too. 
Our own people got to go. Man, why you think the flood had to come? It had to destroy them all. It's the same way, like in the days of Noah, man. It's, it's the same. As a matter of fact, it's worse. It's, it's way worse, man. Why you think it destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? See? Verse 21. That make a man, what do they do? What, this, here's the point. That's what I wanted to get to. That make a man, what? An offender for a word. And ultimately, we know exactly why all these bills and blah, blah, blah are coming out. It's, it's for what? The persecution of the Israelites. The, what, the You know, those two prophets that are sighing and crying and, uh, uh, and continually, man. The souls of the just complain continually to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's why they're bringing out all these bills. That's why they're getting ready to do this and get ready to do that. Don't forget, the Lord is in the mind of the kings. He's making them do this. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said, he is going to send a famine of the word. It didn't say, you know, we ain't giving Esau no credit for this. You, you understand? He's going to bring the famine of the word. Amen. Because, hey, when uh, uh, salvation was yet, yet near, you turned your shoulder and walked away. All right. You didn't understand the severity of the things that are getting ready to happen. Jacob's trouble. You understand? Jacob's trouble, which, which in the scriptures, it tells you it's a time that's never been before. And we understand the atrocities that was done to our forefathers, a.k.a. us. And we see some, and some, some things we don't even know about they did to us, man. The, that wicked man. You, you, you hear what Joe Biden said? Yeah, I'm going to play it. You know, I, I played it before. You hear what Joe Biden said? There's no room for H-A-T-E. There's no room. There's no room for that. But, you know, this, that's not the American way. But America was built on that. Grape, rob, and murder. You know, Babylon was built on that very same principle under the banner of what? Christianity, man. The hypocrisy of these Edomites. And then, you, and then you got these little Christians running around talking about Jesus. You see? And our own damn people, and, you know, acting like a bunch of coons, man. And shalak right off to each and every one of you two-thirds. That's what's up. Shalakia. All right? See? That make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him. What's a snare? A snare is a trap that reproveth in the gate. See that in the city and turn the just for a thing of not. Right. What the just turn the just for a thing of not. Oh, what we got going on? So like you. So like you. Give me one moment. Yeah. What does that say? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I need to get on with my lesson. Somebody just got blocked. No such place as hell. It ain't no damn hell. You know, hell is the grave, man, and a condition on earth, man. My goodness. People are crazy as hell, man. I said hell. Uh-oh. The Gabar Dama believes in hell. Come on, man. Anyway, Amos 5 verse 10. They hate him. They do what? You see? Is hate a natural? Is is it not a natural thing? It said, it said you know, he said there's no room for hate, but they hate us that rebuke in the gate. That's why they all these damn bills and, and, and all that all that's coming out. You you had uh President Putin say that all the apostles and, and, and uh, who the world ignorant calls Jesus, Yahweh is what? Is black. And now you got Edomites burning the Bible. So who who really hates? See? Yeah, we don't know you and we don't owe you. Screw you. That's what's up. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. And the ones that are in the highways and hedges and doing daily epistles, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not for ill gotten gains, not, you know, not because you, uh, somebody told you to, because you're supposed to be on fire for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're supposed to be on fire. If it's in you, it's going to come out. You can't stop this word. There ain't no stopping this truth. There ain't no stopping it. Ezekiel 3 and verse 26. And I will make my tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. What, what does that mean? You ever try to talk with peanut butter in your mouth? You ever try to talk with your tongue cleaving to the roof of your mouth? What that means is he's going to take the word uh, out of the masses. He's going to shut down the Internet. It's going to be all kinds of things happening. You know, we, we can go into it. Second Ezra 15 chapter. Men uh, against men. Women, uh, uh, women getting towed up in the streets. Micah 7 and verse 10. You know, all these damn things, man. And they're going to run to and fro looking. What, 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 what were they saying? Oh, oh Lord, I, I, I messed up. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you messed up. All right. That thou shalt be what? Dumb. What is dumb? Deaf and dumb, right? Not, you not speak and shall be and shall what? And shall not be 
to them, to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house, and it's your problem. It's your problem. You know, it's your problem, man. You took too damn long. Scripture said, I made haste and delay not to keep his commandments. And that's to the best of our ability. All right. So, yeah, man. Hey, yeah, that, that pistol was spot on. Let's go here. Amos 8 and verse 11 It's the point, really. All right. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of hearing nor of thirst for water. But of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. See that? But what of hearing the words? Internet cut off. Uh, 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 damn, every water cut off. Everything going to get cut off. Babylon cut off. Your cell phones cut off. The power grid cut off. You going to get cut off. You want to be a part of the first fruits. That's what you want to be. All right. You see? But, they, hey, but our people, what? Stay there in. Stay in their wickedness. Stay in their iniquity. Simply because they don't have a fear, a healthy fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Revelation 11 and verse 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. You see that? They shall what? They shall rejoice over them. That's talking about the Israelites. They rejoice over us. Do they not? It wasn't, it wasn't too long back in the day where, you know, where Esau Eden was bragging. We, we, we're big and bad. We. We took you, we had you, and, and we and we do and we're doing this, and we 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 covet fields and take them by violence, and they was proud of it. Right? Now there's a shame, now a shameful spewing upon their glory. Babylon is gonna get ready to fall in one hour. You see that? And no Moab with your pride ass, prideful self. You you ain't got next. It's the Israelites, baby. Call Halal Yahweh by Shimmy Abashai. Huh? And they that dwell upon the earth shall, what? Shall. It didn't say maybe. It says shall. Rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another. Us. Okay. Because these two prophets did torment them on the earth, man. And that's why they are trying to close everything. You can't say this. You can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. You know? Because these two prophets, northern and southern kingdom, that were oppressed together, where in the land of the north, where them, where, the, where them Edomites refused to let them go, are tearing their asses up with the scriptures. Hebrews 4 and verse 12. Read that. It'll tell you that these scriptures cut and they sharpen to any two edged sword. And it goes all the way down to the bone marrow, which is the, uh, uh, you know, which is within the bone, baby. Oh, okay. All right. He went into the, the, the First Amendment. We're not going to abolish the. Well, you know what? The, the, all these damn amendments in the Constitution, is, it's been thrown, it's done away with. But you dumbass Amer Americans are stupid. <laughs> you know, them niggas are stupid, man. And I'm talking about it, it really, you know, black ones, you damn Mexicans, you know, which in fact are Israelites, you know, uh, 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 you know, speckled bird. They're just stupid. Scripture said uh, our people are sottish children, but I'm talking about the damn Edomites too, man. And then all the rest of these nations, the melting pot, you know, Babel, right? Come on, man. First Amendment. Congress shall make no law re, uh, uh, respecting and establish of religion. Uh-oh. Do, do you hear that? It's, it's clear to see uh, all these amendments. All that shit has been done away with. See? All right. Establish of religion. Or pro, uh, prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or uh, uh, abridging the freedom of speech. All right, that big one right there was religion, if you will. Okay, all right. Oh, or of the press, or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and petition the government for redress of grievance. Uh, well, there's that word grieve, grieve, grievance. <laughs> it's a, or grievance, right? Interesting. That that word popped up at the end of the First Amendment, right? Okay, so you know that's what, that, but that's not according to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's law. We clearly just read in Amos eight in verse eleven that he's going, uh, he's going, uh, he's going, you know, basically have his prophets quiet, man. No more. While salvation was yet, you know, open unto you, man, you just didn't want to listen. Death shall be chosen rather than life, right? The rivers of living water have been flowing for years. See, you, you, like the like elder said, you, uh, you, uh, you play around in dirt, you get mud, man. See that? He didn't say it exactly like that, but that's what happens. You play around in dirt and you get mud, damn it. 
Canadian is passing a bill. Canada, Slovakia. I said Canadian. That's just strange. <laughs> anyway, Canada is passing a bill to essentially ban the idea of Christianity. No, no. The idea of Christianity is what they push on us. See, you got to, you got to, Esau uh, is tricky. He thinks he's slick, man, but you cannot deceive the very elect, which I'm a hope. We creatures of hope, right? All right. So it's not Christianity. It's the Israelites. The scripture just told you these two prophets are tormenting them. That's why they want us to shut the, that's why they kicked their asses out of Rome. See, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Seth. This time it shall be what? With fire and fuel of fuel and uh, with fire, man. All right. And this is the last Trump. Let's see. Justin Trudeau, that devil. Prime, uh, prime rib roast. <laughs> uh, no, Parliament and President Joe Biden on March 24th, the Ottawa, Canada, blah, 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 blah. We ought to know it's that bill. It is a, yeah, a Canadian bill. Well, if anybody doesn't know what it is, basically they're saying they want to ban the Bible. That's what they're saying. And it's Bill um, C-367 yeah, C calls for removing religious uh, uh, exemptions from a section of the uh, National Criminal Code regarding what well, there's that word again, H A T E speech. And, and you know what? You know what else they do? You got the S P L U. You got all these damn centers and uh, 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 you know places and uh, alphabet organizations that uh, that have got what Great Millstone. You know, with the, the Hebrew Israelites in general. Right. On a list on a what? A H A T E list. It, it, it's, it's there. We've all done lessons on it. You can go look it up. All right. Why? All we're doing is reading the Bible. See, but the scripture said it yet again. The scripture said it. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. That's another cut to these 1948ers. Wait a minute now. The scripture said in the latter in the latter days that what they're going to do uh, th those so those prophets they went out and they talked on the highways and hedges. You don't see them doing that. You don't you don't even see pork chop uh, preachers doing that. You know, the other day I saw a dude, uh, I think it's an Edomite dude. You know you never know. You don't know till you uh, chest, uh, test the spirit, if you will, standing out on the corner with a damn sign. <laughs> you know, like that movie uh, Die Hard. You know, where they made him stand out with a sign that said, I hate niggas in the, in the middle of the hood. Anyway, like one of them signs, you know, you drape it over your shoulders. OK, anyway. Yeah, yeah. He was standing out with a sign that said, Jesus loves you. and had John 3, 16. You don't understand what that means. Oh, man, that's that's a whole that could be a whole nother lesson. Back to the basics, really. All right. Here. Here we go. I'll pull this up. Also, Utah. All right. Primary uh, primarily uh, primary. Damn. Read it right. Schools, there it go, man. Come on now, ban the Bible for vulgarity and violence. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, who's been the most violent person on the planet Earth? Can you guess? Hello, you see, and yet to this day, they covet fields and take them by violence. It said the scripture said, Keep me from the violent man. His purpose is to overthrow our goings. See that his what his purpose is to overthrow our goings. So so mind you, why is Babylon not trying to overthrow the Israelis or that state of Israel over there? Why? It, because that further proves through the scriptures that they are not the people. Psalms 94 and verse 20. Shall, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame mischief by law? They pass all these little laws, this and that, you know, blah, 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 blah. Jim Crow, they pass all these laws, and all of it is to further oppress the Israelites and for them to try to gain back that birthright. <clears throat> so lock you. And, and they're not going to get it back. As it is written, so shall it be done, right? That's why they're doing all this, man, for v violence. Are you serious? Are you serious? See, the again, the hypocrisy of these people. For, for violence, you got to be kidding me. But a LGB C3PO can sit and read to your children. Huh? You know, I'm talking about a full blown man with a rod and everything can read to your children and dress like a woman. Salakia, damn it. Wow. All right. That's the spirit. I got, you know, disrupted yet again. It happens. It's all good. All right. So let's go here. Talking about the, for, the, for the violence. What does scripture say? Oh, the brothers are going into it. 
He said, yeah, pay vengeance to the ungodly. For the most high, he do what? He hate of sinners. Again, that's, is, that, is that not natural? We looked that word hate up. Let's, let's see what it says. Psalms 4, uh, 140 and verse 4. Keep me, O Yahweh, from the hand of the wicked. See, preserve me from the, what did it say? Violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. You see that right there? That's simple and plain. It said it, it, it's violence on the earth. That's all he does. His desire is hell. You know, he, he uh, since he uh, pursued blood, he didn't hate blood. So blood shall pursue him. Keep me from the what? The violent man. Let's look this word up right here. Okay. No, damn it. Why is this happening? Let's get a definition of that. Let's see. Intense or passionate dislike. That's what it means. A dislike. Do, do, do people not dislike us? Do they not dislike the Israelites? Do you not dislike, uh, 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 hey, the brother uh, Nabala from uh, Virgin Island Straight Gate, man. Shalom to that brother. On fire, okay? But he went. He was going into it, and he said, you know, hey, you know, as a child or whatever, or a grown man as you are, you know, if you hate Brussels sprouts or uh, 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 you know, whatever the hell, you hate uh, damn, you know, lettuce. I call it crunchy water, all right? <laughs> if, you know, if, if you hate that, it ain't me you're just, just going, you know, talk shit about it and throw it down and beat it up. You know, that's how the, <laughs> that's how the brother said it. And that's the truth. You just dislike it. You just don't eat it. See? You dislike it. That's what the, uh, Look up words, Israel. Simple and plain, man. All right? Now, the brother... Here we go. Yeah, uh, the brother Shopper. You know, I, I, I mention all kinds of brothers today, man. But it is what it is. I was watching his video the other day. Had me all kinds of pissed off. All right? It was, hey, but Esau eat him. Well, he's a violent man. That's why I pulled this up. Let's get this right here. Let's get this first. All right? And then we're going to go back, read one more scripture. I'll close it out. All right? Cornelius Packard, Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes? <laughs> Wasn't that a wrestler? You know what I'm saying? As we used to call it, wrestling. All right? Anyway, Dusty Rhodes. Let's see. Uh, 1898, August 13th, uh, whatever. It was. Uh, was an American uh, pathologist, uh, on, on oncologist. And a hospital administrator who was involved in a racist, it, it, was, it was more than that, it was murderous. All right? Scandal, subsequent, uh, whitewashing in the 1930s. Uh, beginning in the 1940s, he served, he served, yeah, he did, he sure did, as a director of Memorial Hospital for Cancer Research in New York. All right? From 1945, was the first director of Sloan uh, Kindering. Institute. All right. So yeah, this is look at this devil. You, you try to tell me what I, what I'm getting ready to read to you. That ain't violent. But what did they do? They promoted his ass. Let's 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 read. Let's see, huh? The horrifying letter, which a scientist confessed to murder. That's what the, you said that, and that's that. Here he is again. See that? Oh, regular devil. It's a, it's a demonic thing what he did. Now, he was down in Puerto Rico, you know, which is, you know, called Richport. Down in Puerto Rico, experimenting on Jake's down there. Yes, sir, he sure was. All right, Cornelius P. Rhodes. All right, that's his name. I thought it was Packard. Anyway, was a well-regarded uh, cancer researcher. I don't want to read that part. I want to read the part where he's talking about uh, th those Israelites ain't shit and they're nothing. Let's see. Award was he was awarded. He was awarded and renamed when a scientist going through uh, going through Dr. Rhodes' papers stumbled across a scandal. Uh oh. Let's read this. Tell me this ain't violent. Tell me this ain't H A T speech. Matter matter of fact, it's more than just speech. He acted on it. The scandal in the uh, early man. Come on, man. Are you serious? Don't nobody give a damn about no KFC. All right. All right. Cause Rhodes to uh, to flee, but to flee. From Puerto Rico under suspicion of multiple unaliving. Rhodes was down there investigating certain types of anemia as a part of Rockefeller. Uh huh. Up under that devil. Anemia Commission, right? You got to see they all work together. All right. A little Chucky up here. That was strange. I don't know what the hell that was all about. All right. He was not pleased with the situation, especially one, one night after he left a party drunk. And found that his car had been vandalized. 
His response was to head to his office and write a colleague, a cancer researcher in New York. The letter start, uh, started out with complaints about another colleague getting a, let's get to the freaking point, getting a job, blah, 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 blah. All right, there's got to be more to that. I know there's more to that. Oh, it, it says continue reading. It's All right. Unfortunate subjects. Uh, uh, then Rhodes apparently lost his mind, writing, they, Puerto Ricans, are beyond doubt the dirtiest, laziest, most degenerate, and feverish race of men ever inhabited uh, this this sphere, right? He, uh, he, yeah, he must be talking about his own damn self and his people. Look at the shit that they do. Do you hear what he, what he wrote? All right? This is crazy, man. It makes you sick to inhabit the same island with them. Well, well you need to go ask what's supposed to be there in the first place. They, they are even lower than Italians. Ooh, a lot of uh, Jake's, uh, you know, uh, Italians also. All right. What I see what the island needs is not to uh, is, is not public health work, but a tidal wave or something to totally exterminate the population. It, and that's what their agenda is right now. Anyway, that new uh, NWO. All right. It might be then livable. That's you see how you see how devil that devil is. I have done my best to further the process of extermination by unaliving off eight transplanting cancer. What? Killing. Uh, uh, it's lucky. Unaliving eight and transplanting cancer into several more. Did you do you hear this? He wrote this shit. The letter has not resulted in any fatality. Yeah, OK. He admitted it so far. The matter of. Uh, consideration for the patient's welfare plays no role here. <laughs> in fact, all physicians, physicians of no value, right? Take delight in the abuse and torture of the unfortunate subjects. Did you hear that? Did you, but what do these devils do? They took his ass back to, uh, 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 here, uh, brought his ass over here to Babylon and made him a cancer research uh, uh, hero. He came in and they gave him a freaking ticker, a ticker take parade, man. And, 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 and what now? Let's go. Let's go back because this is what I was going into. This is what I was going into. But what they want to ban the Bible? They want to bring out bills. Why? why? B -b -b for vulgarity and violence. The hypocritical nation, man. You see that hypocritical nation? Now, I'll just leave it right there. And that's exactly what this is. It's that hate. That's what it is. Intense or passionate dislike, loathing, hatred, right? See? Yeah, it is what it is. I'll leave it there. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone of whom I learn each and every day, man. Each and every day. Healthy Shalom to you, brothers, that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, man. <sighs> I love this work. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Let's go. Every chance you get, chant this place down. Quam Yasharala. And what? And Quam Yasharala. And why a Bible ball? Boom. Shalom. Love you, brothers and sisters. Let's go. Let's go.